<clears throat> Hello. What I thought I'd do in today's tutorial is something related to scripting. I thought I would show how to create and call script functions. And now the way a script function works is it allows you to get like a long, a, quite a long bit of scripting and just boil it down to just a single line so you can just call that line whenever you want. And it's mainly useful if you've got like a long bit of script that you're going to want to use again and again and again and again. So we can just create a function and do it in just one line of script. So I'm going to start a quest to hold our function. So right click new in here. And I'm just going to give it a name, tutorial function quest. And it doesn't need a name. Uh, I'll just give it priority 45. Okay. And save my plugin. Tutorial function quest. There you go. Double click inside. And when we go back in, all these things have appeared. So we're going to want to travel to script, and we're going to add a script. And we're going to create our own new script here, because it's going to be our, you know, our, our own function. And I'm going to hit new script, OK. And I'm just going to give it a uh, unique name, so I'll call it tutorial function script. And we can leave all that as it is, hit OK. And this will come up, and we can just close that. So now we're going to want to actually uh, write in our script. So I'm going to right-click Edit Source, and what I'm going to what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to create a function where, depending on how much money the player already has, will depend on uh, how much they get paid. So um, I've actually already prepared the function in advance because I didn't want to make any mistakes. But I will go through and explain exactly what it all does. So I'm just going to copy this out of here, and I will include this in the description. So paste that in. So the first thing I've done is I created a property. And so it's a misc a misc object property called cap001. And auto and const and we've given it const not conditional because it's it's gonna be a constant, like it's it's never gonna change, basically. And then I've written function tut function open bracket close bracket. And now this tut function is the name of our function. And this is what we're going to write whenever we want this piece of script here to run. So I've done if game.getPlayer, and make sure to put these brackets in, otherwise it won't work. Game.getPlayer, open bracket, close brackets, dot get item count, and then in brackets, cap001, is less than or equal to 1000, and then we've closed the bracket, but we started over here. Then game.getPlayer, dot add item, cap001, comma 500. So what this means is if the player has an item count of cap001, which is this property, is less than or equal to 1000, they're going to be given cap001, which is this property, 500. Whereas in our else if section, game.getPlayer.getItemCounts, cap001 is greater than 1000, they're only going to have 100 caps added to their inventory. So I've hit end if and then end function, so that then tells it to you know stop the function. And this could really contain any piece of scripting that you want, like it could be if it's really, really long. But I just thought this is a suitable demonstration for tutorial purposes. And so I'm going to control S that, and it's uh, one succeeded, zero failed. So I'm going to hit close now. And what important thing to do is the property we created, cap001, it actually doesn't do anything at the moment, so we need to click properties here. And you'll see here on misc object, const doesn't do anything. So I'm going to take it, and I could point to anything. I could point this to a Braxo cleaner if I wanted, but I'm going to po point it to caps 001. Okay. So now if we just return to edit source, any time this cap 001 is called, so any time this function is called, the game knows that it's referring to the misc object, which is why it has to be misc object property, to the misc object cap 001, which is bottle caps. So now the player will properly get bottle caps added. It will work. So now... Again, for tutorial purposes, I'm not going to set this up properly. I'm just going to demonstrate to you how you would set it up if you wanted to set it up properly. So I'm going to go to Quest Stages, and I'm going to right-click New, and I'm going to create a Stage 10. Right-click New. And now, if we're calling a function from within the quest to which the function to which the script belongs, so tutorial function quest in our case, we can just do the simple KMY quest method. And this will work exactly the same if you're calling it in a quest stage or if you're calling it in a dialogue topic. So we can just hit KMY quest and the script we created earlier will appear, tute function script. And so our function was called tute 
uh, function. Wait, we don't. What, what am I doing? We're gonna want to write kmy quest dot shoot function open bracket close bracket. So this will then, when stage ten is set, it will call our function shoot function. And if we hit compile, nothing should happen. Then that's fine. And again, this will work if you're putting it in a dialogue line, or if you're not putting it, or if you're putting it in a stage. So you'll see if you've got dialogue open. The papyrus fragment section will also have this KMY quest, and providing you're within the quest, um, which holds the script, that'll work fine. So I'm just gonna hit OK, and we're gonna save my plugin. So now the other thing you can do with functions is sometimes you might want to call a function from a script which does not belong to the same quest. So for example, you might want to do it from a totally different quest altogether, or you might want to do it from just like an object script. So perhaps when you enter a trigger, you want it to, I don't know why, but pick that example. But you know, you might want to enter a trigger and have this function run. And so it's basically, it's the same for that. So I'm going to create a whole new quest now. I'm just going to call it tutorial function quest 02. And just give it the same priority, 45. Okay. And just going to save and plug it again. Now I'm going to open this one up. So this quest uh, it doesn't belong to, uh, obviously this, um, our function script does not belong to this quest, but we might want to call on that quest. And if we want to do that, so I'm going to create a new stage, and this will work exactly the same for dialogue uh, result scripts as it does for stage scripts. But we're going to want to create a property, first of all. And we're going to add a property, and we're going to want to create a quest property. And, oh, not projectile. A quest property, and we're going to give it a name. And now if we give our quest property the same name as the quest which we want to point it to, which on our example is shoot function quest, then it will automatically point to shoot function quest, and you, you can see it's done it here. So I'm going to hit OK. So now, at the moment, that's not yeah, that is uh, not quite enough. We're going to need to add a little bit of scripting uh, here. So if we want to call the function which is housed within tutorial function quest, we do open brackets and we put tutorial function quest, which is the name of our property which is pointing to the quest tutorial function quest. And then we're going to put as, and now I've got to wrap my brain because we've got to remember, well, instead of racking my brain, I'm just going to go and have a look. Um, we're going to want to put the name of the script which is housed within tutorial function quest, which is tutorial function script. Because bear in mind, quests can hold more than one script, so we need to tell uh, this script which, which script within tutorial function quest to look at as tutorial function script, close brackets, and then we're going to put dot shoot function, open brackets, close brackets, which was the name of our function. And when I hit compile, nothing has happened. And I'm going to hit OK. And save the plugin. So now what happens is um, when stage 10 is set, which in my example, stage 10 is never set by anything because I've just done it to demonstrate how calling a function works. Uh, the little script that we wrote earlier will run. And so whenever it's called, which example in stage 10 of our quest, it's called here. So when stage 10 is reached, our function will run, which assesses how much of the item cap 001 the player has. And if it's found to be less than a thousand or equal to a thousand, they're paid the higher rate. And if their amount is higher than a thousand, then they're only paid the low rate. And exactly the same thing happens in tutorial function quest 02. Except we've had to do a little bit of a Rama houses method by creating a property to point to our test function quest, our tutorial function quest, and then telling our script which script within that quest we want to call, and if tutorial function belongs to this script within this quest, and it all runs nicely. So I'm going to dive into the game and demonstrate that working by using console commands to set the stages of my quest. Okay, so I'm in the game, and if we have a look at my character's inventory for reference, we'll see she's got 6,145 caps. So that means when I run the stages of my quest, we should see her receiving the lower rate of money. So I'm just going to open my console here, and... Um, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna set the stage of my quest, which I noted down the IDs for before. Zero 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 F ninety nine. And when I, this is the quest, this ID here is the quest which houses our uh, function. But we will see it running when I set stage ten. You can hear the caps got added there. One hundred. So I got the lower rate of income. 
So you'll probably be wondering, you know, can I demonstrate it working for the higher rate of income? I'm gonna have to take all my money off myself, though. Remove item. If I've got 6,000 bottle caps, that should be enough to take me down to the lower rate. Yeah, I've only got 245 now. So now I'm gonna set the stage of the other quest that we created, which doesn't house the, um, it doesn't house the script, but the function will still run because of the scripting that we did. So I'm just gonna set my stage 03000F9A, and it was stage 10. I can hear the money being added, and this time I got the higher rate of caps. Obviously I can't demonstrate it going on and on again, because once the stage is set, the stage is set and I can't go back. But um, yeah, I hope this was useful and that you've kind of understood how um, how function scripting works, because I didn't go through a whole prolonged thing setting up a dialogue. I just, you know, because the point of it was just to demonstrate how functions are called. And by this stage, you should sort of know how to set up dialogue and set quest stages properly. So I thought I could get away with just using console commands for, uh, to set these stages. And it, you know, it let me focus just on what I actually wanted to do in the tutorial. So hopefully this was useful and this was clear, because it can be a little bit, well, anything scripted in a creation kit can be a little bit fiddly, full stop. But uh, hopefully this was useful and clear and you've kind of understood the process and how it works and that I've explained it uh, properly. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.